didn't you used to, you sold candy as a kid? Is this right? Did well, it? sort of. I, I, in middle school, I went through like a big sort of hip hop phase and, you know, I, I couldn't buy the record, so I would get my grandma to take me to Nobody Beats the Wiz to, to buy me the albums. But <laughs> I was short, white, and I wore glasses and nobody really, you know, was feeling my inner gangster. So I would buy, <laughs> I would buy like tubs of candy at like a BJ's or a Costco uh -huh. and, and sell it out of my locker because I thought that was like because cool. that was straight, man. That's and, a good and hustle. And you backed up the price, of course. You know, right? And, you know, made a little lunch money. Oh, nice, I nice work, it. nice work. What, what, Jerry, Jerry? What did you do before you before you were a successful actor? What, did you have any jobs? Did you do any? Oh well, I did work at almost every restaurant in the San Fernando Valley, uh, but <laughs> three of you. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but my most, I, I did. I worked at Boston Market when I first moved to LA. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Oh, no, dude, don't even. Well, you don't guys are gonna love this part. Uh, yeah. Employee of the month, three months in a row. No way. Are you serious? And I created something out of the side dishes that they should put on the menu. They're known for their sides. It would be a scoop of mashed potatoes, scoop of macaroni and cheese, scoop of cream and spinach, and you just go like that. Nice. Oh, I used nice. to go there on my off days to eat that. No, so you're employee of the month, three months in a row. They wanted to make me assistant GM. <laughs> I was 20 years old. That's amazing.